How's it going everybody? My name is Dalton. Welcome back to another episode of Garage 99. In today's video, we have a beautiful 1987 IROC Z28 Camaro. If this thing doesn't just scream America, I don't know what does. I feel like I should have grew a mullet out for this thing because this is the car to drive. Let's see what it sounds like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's it. You know, I drove the Miata today just so I could get used to driving an older car because this thing is awesome. All right, reverse is over there. All right, might have to put the windows down just a little bit. It is kind of hot in here today. I wish I could put the T-tops down, but I don't want to deal with that because that, uh, that sounds like a lot of work. So this is a 1987 IROC Z28 Camaro with plenty of bald eagles. I have no idea how many exactly, but we'll figure it out. I'll put it on the bottom of the screen somewhere. It is a manual though, so you knew it was gonna be a good time. I'm just getting used to her a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on the freeway here. I did just jump out of a 1965 Mustang, so this is already substantially more modern. Uh, we do have a five speed with a uh, reverse on the bottom right of the gear shifter. That's pretty cool. Not gonna lie, it's kind of like a new Camaro where you have very small, short windows. There's not a lot of like, space to look out at but you do have this very menacing looking hood that just kind of slopes down you got a bunch of vents facing up i do love the irock as a whole i think this thing is so cool oh wow you got the the tripometer up top the tripometer is up on the top middle over here that is so cool it is super super warm in here so hopefully we can uh i guess i could turn the ac on i don't even know if it works in here let's try it out oh yeah nice and cold ac that's what we need so this Bad Bama Jamma has a 5.7 liter V8 that makes 225 horsepower and 330 foot-pounds of torque. All the torque to rip that mullet right out the back of your head. Also has a five-speed manual with a pretty nice gear ratio. And we have power everything in this car, which is pretty interesting. Very 80s style, though very blocky. It's like, let's throw this on here, let's throw that on there. Uh, the steering wheel is a three-spoke, but all three spokes are very horizontal and vertical. Everything in this car is very boxy, but that's just kind of how the way it is. It's just the style back in the 80s. It does have some fantastic T-tops because what is better than cruising around and T-tops? Especially when you get to hear this thing. It does actually ride really, really smooth. Everything is very tight. It doesn't make any noises. All you can hear is just that fine exhaust sound coming out of the back. So let's see if we put the window down just a little bit. Oh, we're not on the freeway, but we can get a good sound of what she's like. Typical muscle car, very useless back seat. And it's pretty usual. I mean, you're you're just here to have some fun. Very nice idle for this car. Very smooth. Let's you know it's there, but it doesn't really do too much else. She's spicy. All right. This has 25 more horse than the 65 Mustang I just drove, and there is just so many more balls to it. Every time I get too high in the 
RPM, kind of like how my Ford does it, where it wants you to kind of optimize your mileage and everything. Put the windows back down, we'll see what she's like off the line again. She definitely sounds good. Before we get this thing parked, I just do want to tell you this is a very, very, very clean car. It only has 20,000 miles on it, so you're not buying an old car, you're buying a pretty low mile car that looks old and has that classic feel to it. Keep that in mind with everything that I'm saying. All right, guys, I didn't actually mention it does have a Magnaflow exhaust, which probably explains why it sounds so darn good. You do got these classic 80s rear tail lights with all the different colors and all the grid patterns. Sweet IROC wheels with actually a pretty decent set of tires. They look fairly new. Usually they have, uh, it's not anything against usually the people selling them. Usually they just have the original tires or some super old tires on it, but those look pretty nice new and they don't have any dry rot. You do have the boxiest 80s body style with just a great side profile on this vehicle. I love it. Uh, retractable antenna you do have these are those even functional you do have the vented hood that's for looks it's not actually functional you do got the aggressive front end the nice body kit styling like from the 80s the gold and the red always works so well with chevys and pontiacs it's just a classic theme they have to always go with you do have the glass t-tops because it is an 80s car and you know you got to pop the t-tops out when it's a beautiful day outside you do have your rear roll bar huge struts to hold up the rear glass whenever you pop that open so you got this large rear hatchback tons of storage space down there it looks like you actually have a storage oh actually no this is the case to hold the t-tops in and then you have all that storage down there. So there's actually a pretty good amount of room in here. And you have a privacy cover. I thought that was a strut tower bar. It's actually a privacy cover to cover all of your important goods back here if you'd like to. If not, you can keep it open and have more light showing through to help you navigate. And when you close this, it actually has a motor that pulls it taut all the rest of the way down. If you saw that, it's pretty cool. Then you have your IROC badges on the side. You have your Z28 tune port injection. All right, and you even have hood struts up here. This is your big old 5.7 liter V8 tune port injection. This is probably the exact same thing they have in the C4 Corvette. This is the LT motor. Makes 225 horsepower and 300 foot, 300 plus foot pounds of torque. You do got a couple of cross members in here, keep the chassis a little more rigid, but nothing too much to see under here. It's a pretty good amount of space that you have. You do have these that forces air inside of here for your intake, that's pretty cool. Other than that, there's nothing really much to look at under here. A lot of room for activities and other things you could be doing if you wanted to add more power to this thing, but very clean, very simple. And then inside here, you've got your, it looks like a, maybe a old aftermarket radio. You've got your five speed shifter. You've got your simple steering wheel and you've got your nice clean gauges. Nothing is too crazy in here and nothing is erratic. It is super, super clean though. If you're looking for a vehicle like this in very good shape, this is probably the car with the black and tan interior. A very simple car, very easy to drive. I really liked it. It is available for Monte Auto Sales up here in New Haven on 94 New Haven Road. So if you guys are interested, take a look at the link in the description below because you'll find it there. But on that note, guys, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. Peace out, keep turning those gears.